Hello everyone, and welcome to the Q&A session for the SU Elections 2013. In the interest of fairness, these, uh, this session is conducted under a set of guidelines, I'll just go through them quickly now. <coughs> Candidates are encouraged to attend hustings, but in extenuating circumstances, candidates may submit a written statement which may be read by the returning officer in the candidate's absence. In order for equality, a maximum time limit will be imposed for speeches. This will be two minutes for part-time officers and three minutes for full-time candidates. Candidates will be advised at a point of 30 seconds from this limit and at time. Candidates must promptly finish speaking upon ending the allotted time. Obviously. <laughs> Speeches are verbal only and no presentations or props may be used. A maximum of three questions will then be fielded from voting members at the end of each session. The questions will be chaired by the returning officer and in the event of two or more candidates standing for the same post, questions must be directed to all candidates and answered in turn. Responses to questions will be limited to one minute per candidate. All the normal election rules apply, so please no negative campaigning and no mentioning of current staff or exec positions apart from yourself. Okay, so without further ado, we'll start with welfare officer. So the candidates in this position are Joe Borton, Steph Jones, and Katie Douglas. It's us. Come up. Go. Take your place. as I see myself as a hard-working, ambitious, determined, enthusiastic and driven young man. I have lots of visions for the role for what I'd like to do if successfully elected. I'd be very keen to continue the work already developed by the SU in further developing the promotion of mental health problems in a positive and informative way. For too long, we have, mental health has had a great stigma surrounding it, and I think the only way in which we can break down those barriers and that stigma is to come up with positive solutions to addressing what is a very common issue. I'm also very keen to address and ensure that all students have good accommodation and that any views you have on anything, you know, academic, personal or anything else is fairly and equally represented. I would also be keen, were I elected, to organise guest speakers to come in and talk about all manner of problems that students may have not just mental health, um, this might be academic worries, this might be worries about um, people you're living with in your flat, it could be any number of things. But I think it is important that there is a greater degree of transparency and that people are able to feel that they're part of a warm, safe and inclusive community. I'm also keen to um, ensure that all students' views, irrespective of race, age, gender, religious or sexual orientation, but Okay, are insured. My honesty and integrity will not allow for unachievable promises to be made. I thank you very much for your time. I hope I can rely on you for your vote. Because they were in Cajun 
accommodation and couldn't eat around other people. So I want to be able to give the opportunity for them to eat on their own if needs be and just to make everybody else aware of those people. I also want to focus on drugs because this year I don't feel that there was much on drugs but I do think it's an issue within the university. So I want to maybe hold an event or campaign on this That's issue. And if elected, I promise to supply student support with a smile and be very happy and listen to everyone's problems and point them in the right direction for advice. Hi, my name is Katie Loveless and I want to make Winchester a home from home for all of us. As an understanding, caring, approachable and friendly person, I aim to do this through an open doors policy to everyone and anyone with any stress, problem or concern. I will always aim to be on hand and listen and help and more importantly, I want to be. Through my work as a student and higher education ambassador and my position at the student union, student union bar, I have demonstrated my ability and confidence in communicating with a whole host of people. Working at the Student Union Bar has also provided me with a greater insight into what the Union does and is, and has made me eager to know more of what it is about and to be part of it myself. So what will I do for you if elected? Whilst I have some of my own ideas, I would be really keen to hear what the current students want to see more of from their welfare officer. This could happen through online polls and questionnaires. If elected, I plan to maintain hard work previously carried out, for example, promoting and encouraging chlamydia testing. However, I would also want to explore some other areas, such as personal safety, with the opportunity of self-defence classes. I would also love to hold a Healthy Body, Healthy Mind campaign. Areas that could be covered within this include eating disorders, getting enough sleep, managing stress and diet. I feel that a big street party or fair campaign to celebrate how great we all are could achieve this and improve people's perceptions of themselves. On the subject of diets, I also feel it would be beneficial to promote balanced diets through the inclusion of some affordable healthy meals in freshers packs and possibly some demonstrations of these in the box. My primary aim is to ensure that everyone feels that they have someone to turn to who's looking out for them. I aim for every student to feel that if they're ever in doubt, they can give Loveless a shout. Thanks for your time. <laughs> And 
find people that are willing to come in and maybe do a day to a workshop or a talk, information, things maybe held in the vault, held in the terrace bar, and just see what's out there and what's available for me to use within that week. I think I'll take on a lot of the, like as we all do work with solar mines, mental health, which I'll later discuss in the next question. Sure, but and maybe have a day of them, try and get someone in from Frank and work on drugs and maybe five grade again because I think they worked really well this year. I'm finished. <laughs> Things like acting, singing, dancing, 
Um, I play quite a few instruments as well. Um, uh, you should know that I have a big influence um, in sport. Uh, this shows my degree of sport coaching. And I uh, captained the women's basketball team last year. We got promoted as well, which is really good. I'm telling you all my background because I think it's, we have such a diverse uni. And I think it's really important. Um, we have so many different sports teams and societies. And I think I have a huge knowledge base. And I think that's important for everybody to know what everybody is doing. And I, what I don't know, I'm definitely willing to learn, I'm definitely willing to try new things so that I understand what pe where people are coming from. Um, if elected, I'll endeavour to work closely with the VP of Activities to promote and increase and sustain participation across everything, be it fundraising, um, teams and societies and volunteering. Um, I'll ensure that at Freshers' Fair, each society and team are represented and promoted properly um, for the new year. Um, my, goal, my, three main, my four main goals um, for the year um, are to build a stronger relationship with the community um, through doing more events like the Big Tidy Up, um, having, providing an alternative to um, competitive sports, because I know a lot of people are deterred from participating because of competition, um, uniting the uni in charitable events, like doing like one big event for Red Nose Day and doing it across the whole uni, alongside smaller events, because I think that will raise more money, and getting some regional media attention as well, like BBC South Today or Capital FM or something like that, um, to really get people talking about the uni because it's grown so much and I think it's really important for right. other unions.
like Oh yeah, the smaller charities. My aim, if I was elected, I would write down, I would find every charity event I could, um, and write down at the, at the beginning of the year, and then find out what people were really interested in promoting and, and fundraising for, and then we would work with them. Um, and get them on that computer. Oh, I would do big events and make sure, like go around and promote them more, and like try and get people involved. <laughs> countries and by <coughs> being uh, traveling a lot on my own and uh, I also know the hardship about what it's like to transmit a message across I worked with uh, Tibetan refugees in India teaching them English um, so I've pretty seen like some heavy stuff out there about international uh, cooperation and interaction so quite frankly University of Winchester is, is really cool because we have a great uh, small density of international students that participate a lot and I just want to integrate them more often into the all the activities that we have here in the uni I've been the vice chair for the debating society. I've integrated myself in the African drumming society. I play volleyball, and um, I just want to bring them uh, closer to all of these these things that are great in the uni. And I think that they segregate themselves a lot in many aspects. Um, there's a lot of people out there that just don't know this is going on, and they are afraid of approaching it. And I think that not only we can be more welcoming to the international students, but also more receptive, more open-minded. And there's many more things that we can do to help them uh, bring the world. Uh, uh, to Winchester and also uh, SU Knights like Flirt and stuff and Bob like we can do more propaganda in, uh, in multiple things we can have leaflets in different languages you know that, that will also be so helpful especially in West Downs with a huge segregated community of Chinese people and uh, yeah and that, that's it and Peter is a perfect candidate for this offer so I just hope you vote for me thank you <laughs>
Uh, I'm heavily involved with the ISS, the International Student Society, and growing up in international schools in Hong Kong to expatriate parents, I've always been the foreign person. I'm foreign in Hong Kong, I'm foreign here. And I feel that, that because of that, I've been exposed to a variety of different backgrounds and cultures, and that has helped me understand the challenges, the differences, and similarities that exist between them. I aim to be the bridge between international and home students, because I believe that different cultures have the potential to not only coexist, but to interact positively as well. I want to integrate more international students in the Student Union and the Winchester community as well, and support diversity and inclusion in all aspects. I have already worked closely with the International Student Society, and I want to do more and plan more multicultural events to raise awareness for both home and international students. So why me? I'm social, friendly, helpful, open to suggestions, and very approachable. Because I'm currently a first year student, also I have the opportunity to serve you for two more years. And with that, I can get better each year and have more experience. And I have more time to commit to the role as I won't have a heavy workload or major commitments. And in terms of, I'm, I have excellent terms with current and future ISS committee members. I know them very well, very well. And being mixed race helps me understand perspectives of both sides. As, as cheesy as it sounds, I have the best of both worlds. And I'm incredibly comfortable in communicating with, like, with students who don't have English as their first language. Like, because these people have a language barrier, there shouldn't be any divisions between us. And it is my hope that current and future international students will feel more welcome and more integrated. And I believe that better relations between us and international students will benefit home students in terms of being more fully aware. So vote for me to <coughs> reach the... That's quite similar. So I'll take it. Does anyone have another question? I'll go. Um, in terms of getting international students involved in what the union does, do you think there's a language barrier and what would you do to combat that? So it's how do you resolve conflicts in the halls? What would you do to make international students welcome in freshers? And do you think there's a language barrier in terms of involving international students in the SU? So, now try it first. Um, when it comes to the problems in halls, I think always the best way is first try to integrate more people in halls from different nationalities. I personally live in West Ham with people from six different countries, and the best way is always promoting dialogue, um, allowing somebody to be there all the time constantly and asking if there's any issue, and also putting someone from that's been in that situation before, from that same country, and telling them and guiding them. I think that's always the best way, just getting someone that's been through that and guiding them a little bit and telling them that, that anything can be resolved with dialogue because we have great people here in the union that, that will help you out no matter what. Um, then when it comes to the problem about um, integrating them in societies, it's the same thing, just showing them liaisons, people that have been doing the same thing, integrating them, showing them that it's fine, giving them multiple opportunities to join international, uh, in their international bodies within uh, the sports and so on, showing them that they're still playing the uh, same sports and everything that they are back home. Uh, and I forgot the other question. Oh, and the language barrier is just also the same thing, just getting other people that speak the same language and promoting dialogue and getting oh, yeah. somebody to help. <laughs> Show them around Winchester as well. 
So not just about the university, but also what Winchester has to offer in the city because That's they're going to be living here. And then the language barriers, also try to get someone that's speaking the same language or something quite similar that might understand. Or then uh, promote things a bit more visually, so they'll visually be able to see things if they don't like, understand the language. Well, I feel as in with conflict in the hall, I think both members just need respect for each other. And just to sit down and have let them cool off and let them talk to other people who know what it's like to be in that situation and they have different sides. And as long as they respect each other and they see, they will be able to see each other's perspective. They can find some mutual resolve between that. And to make them feel welcome, just meet them at the airport, like with the international buddies. Uh, you can go on both days, I know, flying in. And just like not only Winchester, but the whole of England, introduce London trips, Edinburgh trips, Things like that. And as if to the as to the language barrier, yeah, keep just maybe more someone who knows that language or someone who can show them or like a mentor, someone who's knows that person or that can help them out in that situation. Each other. 
And this option should always be there. Um, however, I believe that when the university is highlighted too much, um, it creates separate, separate groups instead of integration of one, and bo one body of students. Um, for example, societies such as um, ADCAS and the International Student Society are amazing initiatives for people of different cultures to meet. But I wonder how many people that are um, not international students or those, um, or those nationalities, um, how many of them take part in those societies. If I will become an equality and diversity officer, my focus will be on working together and mixing all kinds of groups of people together. Um, For example, um, this and um, equality and diversity extends, in my mind, beyond ethnicity, culture, and religion to disability, age, and sexual preference, but also to what course you're doing. Thanks. For example, um, okay, never mind. Um, um, in short, if you want to vote for a smart candidate with strong opinion, um, who is motivated and who feels engaged with this university and this com community, vote for me, I won't disappoint. Hi, um, hi guys. Um, as many of you probably know, um, I'm the current um, Equality and Diversity Officer. And uh, first off, I want to say how much I have absolutely loved the last year, working with the current exec and everyone that I've met at the university. So um, what I really want to say is um, I've learned from this year. So I know absolutely everybody at the university now, and I've made some really great contacts through the university. Some of us are even Facebook friends. It's great. Um, and uh, so also, I've had the opportunity to work with many people from across a uh, sort of like whole range of issues to do with equality and diversity, which is notoriously a very hard area to talk about. So over the last year, I've helped people through gender reassignment, um, pregnancy, disability, uh, race issues, the list goes on. It's uh, quite hard to actually get the role sort of out there because quite a lot of the things you talk about and you talk with uh, students is quite personal and um, I've learned some amazing things. And uh, you know, there's some people out there, I wish I could name names because you know, they've changed my perception. Um, I also have uh, an impairment and um, I go through the challenges sort of every day sort of trying to tackle what people say about me and um, you know, how I can overcome those barriers. And uh, I want to give something back. So um, you know, I've absolutely loved the last year and I've got so much sort of left to give. I really, really do hope that you can vote for me because I've got so much planned. I've got all the contacts and um, also, um, I work quite hard as a student union and you probably, I don't think anyone actually sees me in anything but another hoodie. I think I only own the one hoodie. Um, I also work as a student ambassador. I also work on the window and HG team. So I actually go out into the uh, community and I talk to people about these issues. I'm also supporting quite a few of the societies such as um, ACAS, LGBT, international students, and many more. Quite a lot who are facing trouble at the moment. And I'm always there organizing meetings with them. And I absolutely love talking to people. I'm always. getting people with these issues to come forward and speak to you?
group like that, so if that was the case, then I'd try and arrange a meeting just one on one and see if we could arrange something like that. So, um, <coughs> film with the students. Um, in terms of the second question, um, what I think needs improved on, um, I think just general awareness, I think, is a really big key. Um, and yeah, just really campaigning and just not making these issues, making these issues known rather than sort of hidden, getting rid of the stigma of, of some of the things that this surrounds and just say, hey, yes, we can talk about these things and we can support it. chat about access issues around the university so um, hopefully you guys, some of you guys will come along hopefully it's going to be in the assessment week it uh, should be publicized um, but yeah holding more sort of like informal events and getting people to come to us and show the support um, from the uh, SU so through the exec and management and um, also from the university I'm working quite closely with um, the state and also with um, yeah, other forum, forum groups um, to try and get people to talk about uh, what's going on and um, also try and get uh, quite a bit of funding uh, for those kind of areas and to get people to come out of the woodwork. I admit, um, you know, I need to do more to like publicise things at times. There's times of the year where I'm not really out there and I should be and uh, that's one of the things that I will definitely, definitely improve on um, if go to, it's one of my first things that I want to do. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Freshers flirt last year was the biggest night of the year. 
needs to be looser. I think things like that needs to be repeated this year and just made bigger and better. Similarly with that, if I was elected, we would see Flair being bigger and better and more people coming to Flair, more things every week. Um, and in finishing really, um, the whole thing that you want to come out of uni with is that you've got a good experience and you've had a good time and you've got loads of memories to look back on. And I hope that it's time is your...
And when it's, um, student union is so cheap already, how would you make it cheaper or would you plan to change entry prices or try and get joint prices cheaper for people that are, you know, that are struggling money like students are? Jeff, can you explain your question a bit more? Just like you all work for the student union, so you know more about the student union than other students do. But obviously, it's the students um, <clears throat> that you're representing. So, how are you going to make sure that your perceptions don't get in the way of the students' perceptions?
in a standard speech at, <laughs> at the end of one minute of my co-chair time. She <laughs> Hi everyone, sorry I can't be here with you all today, but I still wanted to make sure you guys got a chance to hear my speech. This week I will be campaigning from beyond the university, out in Les Arcs in France, so keep your eyes peeled on Facebook to catch my latest video blog. My name is Katie Ball and I'm going for the role of communications officer. I'm a happy, friendly, outgoing person who wants to do whatever it takes to make the student union what you deserve. Communications within the, S the university has been fantastic so far, but I believe there is more to be done. Things are changing around university all the time, and quite often we do not know why. I'm making my business to know what's going on and how long it's going to take. I want to make you all aware of what's available for you and the university. There are still bits and pieces that go on that people do not know about that could enhance your personal experience at university. As many of you have probably seen on my Facebook page, there are a few things I'd like to implement if you were to vote for me. I don't want to ramble and repeat my manifesto or any of the points you may have seen on my Facebook page or events. However, I'll point out the areas that I want to introduce. TV screens are put up around the university so students and lecturers alike can keep up to date on the current events going on within the uni. Regular polls are on the SU website for all of you who want to tell me what you want from your university. Forums set up with instant feedback to combat your concerns and queries about things going on in the university. Questionnaires to go out to sport team societies and are available from the student union reception so you can keep me constantly updated on what you want from the university. It's important to me that everyone feels they can tell me their ideas, concerns and issues and feel that they are part of something big and part of something where they can be heard. I'll do whatever I can to help you make a university experience what you want to be. So what I will do for you, you ask. I will, I will keep you updated on events throughout the year going on in the union and the university. I'll do this via Facebook and Twitter, via live Twitter stream. I will make the changes you ask for, big or small. I will do my best to implement. Um. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Alice Basquet and I'll be running as a candidate to be your uh, communications officer. I feel that I'm a reliable, confident and organised person. I'm always enthusiastic about meeting loads of new people. I feel I'll be the perfect candidate to be your communications officer as I'm open and friendly and I'm always willing to talk and make time for anybody. Um, I'm currently a student rep and a student ambassador and I feel this has given me the skills to fairly represent you as students um, to the best of my ability. Um, my aims as your communication officer would be for and about students. My intention is to bring you closer to your student union, making sure that you're aware of all the fantastic goings on and um, all the events not to be missed. To do this, I'd like to create a portable entertainments app to further advertise the university life that you can get involved with. Uh, this will be a weekly planner and will be regularly and instantly updated. I also aim to communicate and create more recognition of the achievements uh, both sports clubs and other societies attain by publishing these over various media platforms um, such as Facebook, Twitter and forums. I also want to advertise your games and competitions more so we can all support our fellow students. Um, I'd also make it my aim to work closely with media societies such as Winnell and uh, making students more aware of the fantastic things they get up to and to be really supportive of them. The media itself is constantly changing and evolving and therefore I want to keep Winter's first student union up to date with all the uh, and with the times and make it easily accessible, making sure it's positively represented across all the latest media platforms. I'm an approachable person and I'll be able to work well alongside other executive team members helping support, advertise and communicate all their ideas they want to put across. I can guarantee to be here for any student who wishes to raise concerns, has a new idea or would just want to come and have a chat about what's going on. questions about um, events and things like that and they tell me that they a lot of them don't go because they don't um, hear about them they don't know where they're happening they haven't heard a lot about the event because maybe they're not friends with certain people on Facebook how would you change that how would you make sure that students are always aware of what events are going on in student is that pressure specifically or uh, yeah pressure all. Um, I know you aren't engaged with the, with the, with the, with the, with the um, 
students um, who complete basic new grade like the basic page. <laughs> <laughs> move on to the full-time roles. <laughs> For Vice President of Education, there are two candidates, Matthew Jordan and Tom Lowe. satisfaction of my peers has been a main concern of mine. For the last two and a half years I've been a student rep for my course and this role has, has been and still is important as I believe every student has the opportunity or deserves the opportunity to be represented even if they can't or do not want to represent themselves. I have brought potentially controversial points to the attention of lecturers objectively while still allowing my peers to remain anonymous if they so wish. Through a professional attitude and an established relationship with all members of the department I have been able to confidently approach them with any issue that has been raised by my cohort. By continuing to use this work ethic and establishing good relationships at all levels of the university, I focus on making sure that the students across all departments have a chance to be represented fairly. When first arriving at the university, the step up in work, in, in work quantity and quality can both be difficult and daunting. I'm sure most of us <coughs> recall the first essay that we handed in and received back after coming to university and thought, man, college was so easy. But I believe it is essential that the academic support that is offered by student services is made aware to both a continuing and new students. Having previously worked for student services as a student helper, I assisted many students during their first few weeks at university and also made a lasting connection with student services staff. As a result, I am confident about approaching student services with feedback and ideas from students as to what academic support works and needs are improved. Having worked as a student ambassador for the last two and a half years has also granted me with many great I pride myself on my confidence and friendliness when talking to students of all ages that I haven't met before, including postgraduate and conversion students from open days and open evenings. These events have also allowed me to work with members of senior management such as Deputy Vice Chancellors Liz Stewart and Neil Marriott, which, as a part of my role, I would be liaising with. By already having a good working relationship with these people, I am confident about contacting and discussing potential issues that affect you and may be resolvable by them. My main goals are to ensure that there is an open link between students and the university at all levels, to tackle the issue of how late exam timetables are released, to be a central point of contact for student representatives, their feedback and their concerns, and to ensure that UK, EU and international students are aware of the study skills assistance offered by student services by working with the President and the International Students Officer. I'm Matthew Jordan. Thank you very much for listening and hopefully you all like it. Hi everyone, um, my name is Tom Lowe and I'm running for the position of Vice President for Education at Winchester Student Union. I'm a third year History and Archaeology student. Um, why am I running for this role? Um, I'm running for this role because I strongly believe that all students at the University of Winchester should get the value for their money from the tuition they pay for their tuition and education. Um, also, I want to be there to help any student who's got an academic issue or an issue with their course and to be there to help them out in every way, especially if they don't have the confidence or the knowledge how to do so. And that is why last year I stood for the position of Academic Affairs for Humanities and Social Sciences. 
the position that I stood for and ran on the exec alone um, for the first three months of office. Um, but what have I already done? Um, since I first began my um, time here at the University of Winchester, I've been constantly involved with the Winchester Student Union. Um, I was a course rep. Um, for my first year and then nervously um, in October of my first year I took it upon myself to start a society, um, the University of Winchester History Society which I um, co-founded with one of my housemates. Um, I chaired that for two years, it now has a membership of over 200. Um, it was a society that kind of brought together academic side and social side and I believe that the credit of that society today was strongly because of the influence I had on it. Um, and as stated, I've, in this last year, I've been Academic Affairs for Humanities and Social Sciences. Um, a big part of my campaign this year has been about computer lacking on campus, and that led to the instalment of um, the computers in the SEB 201. Um, also, I've worked with student reps trying to like, reform their training and their feedback systems, so we made like Facebook forums, drop-in sessions, etc. Um, and also, I spent a lot of that time behind closed doors. It's not they're not really roles that you get to see a lot of. I spend probably about five to five hours a week in university committee meetings, and some of these I'm alone in a room with 40 professors who've got a lot of collective knowledge, a lot better than mine. On many occasions, I've had to put my foot down and be the student voice and make them listen, and they do, which is great. Um, so, but what um, what will I do if I'm elected? Like, what what will I campaign for? Um, at the moment, you're experiencing 24-hour library trying period, I want that to be all year. And also I want more computers on campus. I think it's a great thing if students are on campus studying, so why stop that? Um, I want to improve, I want lecturers to improve assignment feedback. I want it to be clear, so the handwriting to be clear, but also constructive. There's no point getting a 2-1 assignment back that says a very good essay. Why is not that? Oh, right. <laughs> um, also campaigning for alternative um, study space or a common room. Um, Increase the number of computer software for students with um, learning difficulties. I want to always be there for any student with any um, issue, having an open door policy, going out on campus and finding out. And then, um, and why vote for me? I've been doing this all year. I may be coming across quite nervous right now, but I do know what I'm doing. I've got the good working relationships, and I will get started on my manifesto points from the day after. Um, how would you communicate what gets said at these meetings back through the student reps and then to the students, aside from Facebook forums that are currently set up for, as has previous, previously been mentioned earlier, mature students and community students and other people who might not just be part of the Facebook groups? Um, my question is just a general one about personal teaching systems and what you think needs to be done with um, how would Okay, so the first question. Uh, leading up from when we start the position to when the beginning of the year starts. So there'll be an opportunity for us to sit down with each department and in turn each faculty and discuss with them what the primary points are. If you're looking at things like um, a performing arts degree to a law degree, there's obviously going to be some differences. But in terms of what would be considered um, a hardcore academic degree, um, you could definitely make sure that there was some sort of coverage across all these. And it's important that we do cover that. So it would be something that's covered the months leading up to the right. next year of university starting. In terms of communication with minutes, using the internet, it's right there, it's on the front page. You can go right to the front page and just um, have it posted up each time, maybe even in a separate LN uh, page. And personal tutor systems, 
make sure that people are, are getting them at the beginning of the year and know where these people are and know where the emails are to contact them for any issue that they have so that the personal tutors can then forward them to the appropriate people. Um, so firstly, combine honours. Um, I think it's really important. Courses actually have to commit to whether they're going to, who they're allowed their course to do a combine honours with. So if they're going to do that, they need to see that the people who are doing those combine honours aren't going to be discriminated in any way, and also is well balanced. So their degree is half and half. There's not one side that's going to be easier. There's not one side that's going to be harder. It's going to be well balanced. Um, in terms of communicating minute stuff back, um, what's important like is working with the communications officer and like putting out statements, we've achieved this, we've achieved that. But it's also good to... That'll answer that one for you. Um, personal tutoring system, that's something that's brought in right at the beginning. Um, lecturers need to, there's something I'm working on at the moment, is to meet them in the middle ground. Students shouldn't just ask you, they should, you know, they should have to be open saying, you know, we're here for you if you need it. The students shouldn't be doing all the chasing. And also, like, it's, you have to look, uh, lecturers in general, just replying to students, because by the time you're in your third year, you've got your favourite lecture, you might have to sway away from your personal tutor. So it's getting that happy middle ground. At the moment, it feels like the student's doing everything on these lectures. Um, 
Hello everyone, uh, my name is Steve Phillips, uh, some people refer to me as Stevie Phils, uh, people at the back refer to me as Deals for some reason, um, it's actually because I love chocolate bargains up at the one stop, but there we go. Um, so yeah, so I'm here to try and convince you why I'm the best candidate for Vice President of Activities. So uh, in the past three years of being at this university, I've been very like, heavily involved in activities that the union has had to offer. When I first came to this uni, as you may or may not have read in my manifesto, I actually wanted to join swimming, um, but unfortunately it like, didn't actually exist. So that's not to say that my experience was ruined, as football was there as a fantastic alternative, and I've shared three great years with friends who I've made for life. The transition in these three years has seen the union go from strength to strength in terms of participation, awareness and performance. Uh, the introduction of new teams, such as swimming, means that the student experience improves so that students have more choice and I'd be fully behind these introductions. Um, it's not just the introduction of new teams that I would highly advocate, um, but also the development of teams. The growth of teams such as dodgeball, cheerleading, women's basketball and armored frisbee a testament to the hard work of passionate individuals who I'd be keen on working with throughout next year if given the chance. It's these hard working individuals in teams like this which shape the union and create a friendly environment. Uh, through my experience of being on football, I've gained an understanding to the needs of different teams. Some are happy to just go out on social, others just to enjoy training, and others are here for success on the pitches and the courts. It's my personal responsibility to ensure that the needs of each team be met. If teams want to be competing in leagues, uh, we would find a way. If teams want a coach to, like, to help further their ability, we would find a way. And also, um, the development of leagues has probably seen the most successful season in terms of sport participation and set, sets an exciting precedent for the future and one which I'd like to be a part, proud to be a part of. Um, this year I've been Vice Chairman of the Football Club and it's given me a great insight into what it takes to run a club. Uh, within this role I've, I've assisted with budgets and proposals for four men's team and a women's team so I'd like to think I'll be able to give guidance to clubs and societies based on uh, my experience. Um, this year for the first time as well Football Club's finally got involved in volunteering and this was something that um, I was really proud of uh, being a part of as well. Um, it was with Street Reach. Um, having attended for most of the season, most of the season, Christ. Um, okay, right, basically, so um, I've also like, helped in a six solid league, so I know what it's like to um, like, help with participation and like, helping drop out rates of people. Um, so by this, also I'm, like, um, I'm ensuring that society is represented as well. Uh, the promotion of the site is always something which has fallen under the radar at times, which might be, be my aim to introduce like an open forum. Um, one way this would happen is, um, actually as a result, another thing that I would like Time to... Vice President Activities. Our union, our societies, our teams. We are Winchester. And uh, if I were to get elected, then it would be my responsibility to not only just oversee all these, but to develop them further so that the, as a university we can be the best we can be. This job comes with a lot of responsibility. And if I'm elected, uh, and if I'm elected, I'm sure there's going to be lots of things that I will be new to me and that I won't know. But I'll have to learn quick. I won't know it all. It'll be hard work. But I'm aware of this. And I'm willing to put in the time and effort needed. My passion for Winchester has a crucial role in this. From my first year, I have loved coming here. I was proud to say that I go to this university. Um, on large, that was a lot to do with the union and the fact that I joined the team. So this is why I'm so passionate about this job and get more people participating, whether it be societies or teams, because you meet friends there that you have a common interest with already. Um, Winch Sixers this year was developed uh, with great success and we now have a football and a netball campaign going. Uh, this is something that I've looked to build upon and possibly the fact, you know, Dodgeball have done two now into uh, sports tournaments, but getting them involved so that people who don't want to do it competitively but want to 
be sociable, be active, can be. Uh, in terms of the positive side, Team Winchester has had a very successful day, year this year. And I believe that this a large reason for this is to do with bringing in more qualified coaches. So that will be an aim for people who want to do better, push the teams further up the leagues, get more qualified coaches in to help out. My role as a student rep and as captain of the women's football team means that I'm used to making quick decisions, uh, can work well in a team, lead when necessary and communicate effectively. Going for any of these jobs means that you know people are going to be new to it and it means it's more important than ever that you have an exec team that can work well together. Uh, we're a close knitted community here, but student numbers are expanding each year. Therefore, one of my main uh, aims, if I was elected, would to be to further uh, develop and strengthen the community ties. I work closely with societies and teams uh, this year um, to deliver more events that both the local population as well as students can get involved in. This is an area that I believe societies could excel. You've all talked about sports quite a lot, but how would you aim to encourage other societies that aren't sports orientated at all to participate and feel that they're part of the student union? Team 
Manchester is very, you know, team based, team focused, and I think it always will be. But that's not to say so societies can't have their own. But I think that needs to come down to society's choice, you know, brand them together, what they think, and how they'll get benefit from this. Um, I think free participation, I think it just needs to become more aware of what societies actually do. I'm sure many people here who are part of societies aren't actually too sure, you know, do they just meet up socially? What do they do? Get involved. So get them to do more events. You get more events, you get the awareness up. You can have them doing promo days and stuff in the terrace bar or in the bowl, depending on what they're doing. And likewise, the teams have taster sessions. So people who you know were, were afraid to join maybe first off in freshers, quite a draw and experience, get a chance to try out or to try out stuff. I'm sure many of you have seen me when you're on your nights out, and also for um, Freshers Crew. I know what it's like to work for the union, but also what it means to work for students. Uh, after all, you're the people who come here, you're the people who know what counts. Um, so that's why I believe that these points are going to help our university experience together be the best it can be. Um, Winchester's award-winning uh, award student union is central to your social experience. Um, and this, as we all know, um, it's, it's ranked in one of the top 20 um, across the nation, but there's no reason to stop there. We can certainly improve on this. Um, and by doing so, I propose an idea that means student interactivity is at its highest ever. That means uh, polls on Facebook, Twitter tags to get you all involved. <laughs> of course, many of us spend just as much time as, uh, on Facebook and on Twitter as we do on campus these days, so this is crucial to getting the word across. However, the second part of that activity itself means that we need to be out face to face, talking to students, getting their feedback, knowing what's what and getting them in. Feedback, as I say, is also essential to your studies. At the end of the day, we're all here to get a degree. And I propose that we need to uh, work with our lecturers to ensure that when you get an essay back that you've written 2,000 words on, 50 words is not just what you get back. That's not helpful. How many times have you received an essay and you've had a few words that says, well done, could be better? We need, we, need these, uh, we need these feedback forms completely revamped so that it says what you've done wrong and what you can do right. And I really believe that that will only make your time here better. Uh, there are some key issues that, um, that people aren't so keen on, that, keen on talking about, such as spending issues. We're all on student budgets. Some of us know how to spend it wisely, others don't. And the people who don't, that shouldn't be an issue for them. They should be comfortable with coming to us and discussing these issues. However, we should be, uh, and I propose that we will set up uh, s spending solutions uh, weekly or fortnightly program, which will give students fun tips and advice on how to cut spending so that they can afford the necessities as well as the luxuries of students. And also happy homes. I'm sure many of you have had issues with your landlords and letting agencies trying to sort out prices for homes. I propose that we're going to make a, a new portal, completely revamp it, in which students can uh, review and discuss potential buyers, potential houses, which will help you get rid of the bad houses and find the good ones. <coughs> and overall, I believe this and much more can be achieved, and a vote for me will make your time the best time it can be at university. Thank you. I've had at university. 
from looking after homesick freshers and encouraging them to engage with the, engage with the student union, leading students on national campaign demo, organising Playmates Week, where I had representatives from Hampshire Fire Service tackling drink driving issues, self-defence classes and chlamydia box, to helping this university be part of a Guinness World Record. I have actively thrown myself into the role and enjoyed the rewards of volunteering my time to look after your welfare. Being part of the executive team has given me the opportunity to learn and understand how the SU works. Residential training taught me much about the NUS and our student union and what we stand for. I believe that if I was elected as president, my previous experience would stand me in good stead, allowing me to represent you successfully and to continue the great work that Harry Stone has done this academic year. The role of president is closely linked with welfare and equality. This means I'd be able to use the skills and knowledge I have acquired from my year as welfare officer to take forward the active campaigns that have surfaced this year. As president, I would ensure that the campaigns I've already closely worked with, such as Heads Up, a mental health awareness campaign, and SRSH, an eating disorder awareness group, would continue to thrive and grow. As president, I would fully support students wanting to run campaigns here at the university for the good of the student body. We have already seen successful campaigns such as Extending the Library Hours and Body Gossip, a campaign about body image. I would be there to support you, your cause and the goals that you have set for any campaign issue. I believe a strong focus should be placed on improving student housing. The issue of rogue landlords should be tackled head on. By setting up an SU award for best student landlord, students would be able to speak openly about their housing experiences. <coughs> and landlords would be encouraged to provide the quality of living you as students deserve. I would also work closely with VP Education on the tutorial system, making sure that every, every student has a tutor to go to with whom they can go to for personal advice or academic advice. No one should be allowed to slip through the net. Overall, I believe that as a friendly, kind and committed student, I can well represent and support the student body. I believe the next academic year will bring great changes to the SU and I would love to be a part of that exciting process. So if you would like a kind, caring and compassionate sabbatical officer who is devoted to representing you, the students, then vote Sophie Farmer for SU President. Vote for change, pick a girl. <laughs> Winchester Film Society in 2010 and I've sat as chair and social sec. I've taken them to Berlin and Amsterdam. I volunteered at Peter Simmons College uh, working directly with students aiming for higher education at university. I understand the importance of education to them and wish to inspire uh, our students as we enter an un 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 unpredictable time in higher education. As student rep for film production, I campaign for additional funds for first and second year students. I am driven to increase monetary help for societies and teams through an overhauled achievement system or fund, which rewards for charitable efforts of groups. If elected, I will campaign for a legacy programme, a week of events designed to increase employability uh, through workshops, talks, and ending in a proper job fair, as we all know getting a job at the end of university can be a challenge. Introduce One World Week. International students should feel included the moment they step through our SU doors. Events designed to bring together international and local students through socials and informal gatherings. Happy hour in the terrace bar between six and seven, Monday to Sunday, as well as the installation of netbooks within the bar entrance. Microwaves and kettles in areas of late night study. 
uh, setting up dedicated exec member for postgrad and mature study, as I feel they're underrepresented by the SU currently, and overhaul Friday nights at the SU. So why vote for me? I will ensure students receive the best education and renewed events at our union. If you want a fresh approach from someone who takes education and the student experience seriously, adopting a supportive role through small additional grants and to create an open, far more inclusive SU, vote Callum Murphy for a brighter student union.
have that sort of like legal kind of advice. I think that there isn't too much of that for the students in the university right now for of course just that for multiple platforms like customer services and stuff. Um, do you think that's something that falls in your agenda that you would like to enhance in the university? Legal advice in general? Yeah. Um,
and hopefully what you've heard here today will inform your vote. Um, I can't express how important it is that you do vote. Out of the people that you've heard speak today, nine of them will be running the student union next year. So make sure that on Monday you vote, make sure you tell your friends to vote, make sure that you're telling strangers to vote. <laughs> it's so important because these people, if you don't vote, you can't hold them to account, you can't question their choices, you can't ask them questions about what they want to do with your union. So it's imperative that you guys vote from Monday to Thursday next week. Thank you very much for coming tonight.